Hi guys, Evil Deer here. So today I'm going to speak to you about how I met my ex-best friend. Now, I say ex-best friend, not because we had like some type of big battle between us, but just because one day he just got up and left, like literally just poof, and he was gone. Just, just like that. Anyway, so the story starts about eight years back when I'm in the army. Now, I know for some of you out there who are Esperanto speakers, you're thinking, whoa, hang on. This dude was in the army? Yeah, I know it's kind of weird. Army dude plus pacifist. Um, so that's just how it is. Rolling along with the story now. Anyway, so it's probably about eight years back. Um, I was within my first year of training. And for those of you who don't know, when you're still in your first year of training, you usually, you're, you're within these rooms with two bunk beds. So that you'll either be on the bottom or the top and there's like no divider. You, you're just all clumped in there. So. The story starts, it was, it was a weekend, and I'm just, I'm just sitting here, I'm just gaming away, because I was like a massive hardcore World of Warcraft player back then, I was just gaming pretty much every night. Now, the guy who was on the bunk bed above me, he, he was like, uh, I think like maybe just turned 18, and he had just discovered the wonders of alcohol. It was like his birthday a few weeks ago, so every night he was just out smashing, he was just pissed man, he was just off of his head. Now he was one of those types of people that when he gets pissed, he gets stupid and so stupid that you just want to, you know, those types of guys just, just want to hit them. So anyway, I'm here playing my little game World of Warcraft, enjoying myself, you know, just relaxing. It's a weekend night and I hear in the bushes outside the window. Now just outside the window, we got like all these little bushes. I don't, it's kind of weird setup, but anyway, so we got these bushes and I'm hearing a sound I'm like, what the hell is that? So I go out and have a look out the window, and here is this guy, like literally just turned 18. He's crawling through the bushes like this guy. Can you hear them? Where are they? Where are they? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, shh, type of thing. And in one hand, he's got one of those little comb things that you use to remove the lint from your from your clothes, and he's he's acting as if it's like an F88 style and he's ready to go to battle type of thing. And I'm like, yeah, a little bit too much alcohol for you. I'm just gonna go back here and play my games in peace. So I went back and I played my games. And then after a while, he comes stumbling in the room. He's like, what's up? And I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. And then he walks behind me and I'm just like, yeah, he must be like about to crash out type of thing. So anyway, he jumps on his bed. Or well, I think he jumps on his bed. What happened next was a little bit surprising to me and caught me off guard. I hear this shh. And I'm like, what the hell? So I turn around, I look behind me, and I see him, he's got my pillow in one hand and shaving cream in the other, and he's like, shh, like, as if this is just something normal that you do. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, like surprised that I somehow spotted him, like as if his little cackling laugh didn't give him away. And I'm like, I knew he was drunk, so I wasn't gonna just clobber him for being drunk. And this is kind of like something that a lot of army guys do to each other, so. I kind of accepted it, but I was pissed off nonetheless. I was just gonna steal his pillow. So I grabbed him by the clothes, I'm like, get the freaking hell out of here before I beep 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 top of you thing and I pushed him out of the room. And this is where it went a little bit crazy because by the way, just so you know, this guy isn't my ex-best friend. Just getting that out there now, he helped us uh, like helped us introduce one of another type of thing. I don't know how you say it. He he created that relationship. So anyway, he's been pushed out of the room and he's sitting here going, I'll take you, I'll smash you, like pounding his like 55 kilos worth of body weight as if he's like 120 kilos. And I'm like, dude, just get the hell out of here. I'm about to snap type of thing. And he's like, I'll smash you, you weak, beep, 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 beep. You know, just swearing type of thing. And I come out of the room, I'm like full force, I'm around the club room and he's moving down the hallway. Now, just so you know, um, all the rooms, they connect into this one hallway and there's like room, 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 all the way down to the end of the hallway and then there's a toilet and it's an open plan type toilet. So anyway, he's now moved down to the end of the hallway, but he's still going off. He's like pounding his chest like he's gorilla man type of thing. And he's, he's just continuously saying these things and I just, I just snap. The pacifist in me just goes, Look, I'm just going to take a break. I'm going to turn around and I'm just going to ignore what happens. And at that point, I just, I don't know why, but I just ran down that hallway and decided it was a good idea to fly kick him in the head. And boy, was it a good fly kick. It like flat on, you know, straight into his face. It really worked quite good. Surprising to me and also very surprising to him as he hit the cold floor in the toilet. So anyway, he's now laying on the ground going, oh, oh, why would you do that? You're so mean. And I'm like, what do you mean? You're the idiot who's... And 
I just wanted to throttle him more and he's like, oh, I think you broke my face type of thing. And I'm at this point, I'm just thinking, should I just get up and go back and play my game and just hope this all comes to a like a nice calm end somehow but as, as, as I'm thinking that you know I'm just gonna take my leave here and just leave him on the floor in pain um, this guy comes out of the room right next to me and I'd seen him around but I didn't know him really and he looks at this dude on the floor and he's like and he looks at me and he looks at the guy on the floor and he goes you know what I really hate that guy we're going to be best friends and he had stuck his hand out and I'm like well, awesome! So we shook hands, like, just, just randomly decided to shake hands. So here we are shaking hands, and I'm like, so what do you like to do? And he's like, I like to play World of Warcraft. And I'm like, oh my god, I like to play World of Warcraft. And it's like Thunder Buddies type of thing. And it was just all this excitement, and then suddenly we're walking back to our room, and honestly, I don't know what happened to the guy on the floor. I think he just rolled around in pain for a while, and then probably just kind of hobbled off somewhere. Because I have no clue what happened. I did see him the next day, so he wasn't, like, hospitalized or anything, which is which is good because it would have been really bad for me military-wise. So yeah, that is how I met my ex-best friend. So, if you like this story and you want to hear more crazy stories from me on Esperanto, on my army trips, on my wife, on just random stuff, share the shit out of this video. Just share it for all your friends. Share it with the homeless guy on the street. I don't care. Let's just get this stuff out there. So, thank you very much. I hope to see you in the next video. And you know the rules. If I don't see you there, you will pay.